Morning everyone. When you think about what the best gun in SCS4 is overall, the first thing that comes to mind is probably the shock field. All your favorite YouTubers rank it number one in their top gun videos, all the supposed meta builds are made with it in mind primarily, and you're told to sell everything and use shock field because it's the best gun ever. But what if I told you there's a gun that's even better at everything than shock field is? That gun is the Zerf Fallen. First of all, let's start with the mechanics. Zerfon is a premium rocket launcher that deals energy damage. It being a rocket launcher means that its projectiles do not have damage drop off, which is incredibly powerful. Zerfon is supposed to deal 2 times less damage to bosses, but this doesn't work and it actually just deals the full damage. Then it deals double damage if both the initial hit and the explosion damage the boss, and triple damage if the explosion from a corner damages the boss. This makes it insanely good at bossing, even with its horrible clip drain time to reload ratio. But this is far from everything that makes her fall on a great bosser. Its other perks are having a very large radius, meaning you can hit multiple bosses easily without needing to align them as is required to guns like the Hornet, Hotspot or Shockfield. It has 50 base pierce, meaning that it's not limited in how many bundled bosses it can damage like other top bossers are, and it also has an enemy resistance reduction mastery which means that with adaptive it removes 75% of boss resistance making it even better against devastators. Assault use is served the most effectively since reload is its biggest downside and adrenaline goes above reload cap. It can be used on heavy as well for the same purposes as on assault, but it's advised you play on assault since it's not only the best class reserve, but the best class in the game. It's not advised use it on medic, but it's still decent on it when you're below level 100 especially for contracts. I'll talk about some practical uses now. When it comes to Apocalypse, people either play to reach the highest wave they can or to grind event points efficiently by disconnecting on a lower wave like wave 20 or 34. Zerfallen happens to be the best bossing gun in the game for both of these things. Since it nukes the boss instantly, it's the most efficient for point grinding especially since you can ignore the last roll of the wave by reloading on wave end. It has a higher wall damage than shock field including reload and has no damage drop off which makes it by far the best weapon for high wave Apoc. Especially since on maps like VIP, which is the best apoc map, it can consistently deal triple damage with corners, incinerating anything in front of you almost instantly. Other maps where it works extremely well are Onslaught, Vaccine, Survivors, and Last Stand. As for samples, Zerf is somewhat on par with other bosters on the starting waves up until you get Devastators, where it starts pulling ridiculously fast kill times since it only takes two clips to kill a Devastator without wall damage, and with the help of the large area of effect, it can kill multiple devs on the screen with two clips. In terms of low level nightmare where a 10 freezer fallen, it's the fastest boss you can use. It kills the boss much faster than a red shock kill while retaining killing spree and ends a 300 boost at pods game in well under 2 minutes, while shock kill takes around 3. It's also extremely good at mobbing since it breaks the pods door instantly, kills nests instantly, starts killing spree easily and generally one shots everything in a large radius. As for endgame nightmare, Zerfan alone isn't the best bosser since it doesn't get a chance to abuse wall damage most of the time on the best map, which is VIP. But this doesn't matter since 400 lobby run speed usually doesn't depend on bossing speed, but rather there's a set time for when the helicopter arrives. Even then, adding Zerfan as a secondary to your normal build with shock field will make you deal more damage since you can empty the Zerfan clip into the boss and then burst it down with shock fuel, so it's still better than not using it even there. We all know that premium weapons are the fastest levelers if they're powerful enough to kill XP contract mobs quickly, not only because of their 50% XP bonus, but also because they have free augments, saving you time that would have been spent grinding survivors or nightmare. Well surprisingly enough, Zerfallen seems to equal Star Fury on Assault at level 50 in kill speed and possibly even surpasses it later on when tankier mobs appear. The two downsides being that you can use Zerfallen below level 50, whereas you can use Contagion from level 1 and Star Fury from level 20 and that mobile players might have a hard time aiming it properly. Assault gets the most XP with Zerfallen due to Adrenaline, but it's still very good for both Heavy and Medic. It's worth mentioning that other than player XP grinding, Zerfallen is also one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon, for grinding its own mastery. In AFK pods it can handle 300 boosts the game's no problem, and kills everything fast enough that it doesn't show up on the screen. As a cherry on top, along with everything we mentioned prior to this, Zerf is also very good at Faction War Hunt, both at low level and end game, and decent extermination if you don't have any other insta kill weapon for the nests. And now for the final question, is it worth buying Zerf Fallen? It's pretty expensive relative to most microtransactions and games, and you don't need Zerf Fallen to perform well or have fun in the game. 
Sure, it's extremely good, but uh, unless you have money to throw away and consider this a game you'll be playing long term, I personally wouldn't buy it. Uh, there's also the chance Enki will hit this thing with a nerf, so if you're buying anything, my advice would be to get a Contagion, since it'll help every character you make level from 1 to 100. Uh, anyway, that's about it for the video. See ya.